Good morning, MMTs. We covered the Dow transports along with many sectors over the weekend. It was an update from the original um, reversals that we did all of these key sectors and indices, oh, I don't know, go almost a month ago, about a month ago, and we said that they were all coming down. Why? Because they're overbought. And the corrections need to take place in bull rallies. One thing I'm going to talk about is the Dow Jones daily transportation. From a standard technical analysis point of view, where public makes decisions, is that on the daily here, we're looking at um, one thing that people need to learn is that when you have a reversal that we called for originally, these are called counter rallies, daily counter rallies. In bull cycles, these happen. And we come right back up and we reverse. The key point is to understand how they make lower lows or how trends make lower lows. This was that low to the counter trend, but then we got much lower right here. So after you have that counter relief rally, you look for the immediate daily distribution. And some of these daily distributions were mild, but as we start to break below the 10-day simple moving average, rolling over in the 20-day simple moving average, and here we are at the 40-day moving average, and here are the names in the DJ uh, T. DJT, Dow Jones Transportations. These are the names that are in here. So basically, we pick out the leadership name in here that is the best of the breed. Just like we do in all sectors. We can only take the best of the breed. But you can see where the haircut is nothing but red across the board. Why? Dow Transports leads rallies. And Dow Transports also lead uh, bull rally pullbacks, right along with the financials and right along with semiconductors. And, and same thing, uh, retail. Technology is a great short because technology this time of year is always weak. And technology stocks in certain sectors that we cover in indices is that they were overbought. And we always cover the CBOE technology index. And you can see technology, great short, right along with them transports. Why? There are various different sectors. So when you have a bull rally correction, it always starts out in a contraction. It started with commodities. It started with uh, energy. It started with lots of those overbought areas that had to come down. I mean, it was just a matter of time that they're just too overbought because they are so that technology the transports the semiconductors the airlines are pulling back across the board the things that are the most sensitive with seasonality are the ones that pull back the most however when they do pull back in bull rallies because bull rallies do not just go away a correction is a correction a bull rally correction to create new buying opportunities. Now, transportation stocks, again, are heavily being sold in the, in the DJT. The NASDAQ transportation stocks, as we can see, um, NASDAQ transportation stocks are down as well in the NASDAQ. But the one that pulls the most weight is always going to be this um, Dow Transports. It's always important. We'll be covering the financials because when bull rallies have corrections, they have corrections, and you need to know what leads these corrections down. And you need to be able to pinpoint the time of year, the seasonality, the overbought processes. So there's quite a, a list of a checklist of ingredients that goes into to mid year. Uh, bull rally going into June here. This is the last week of uh, May. Today is May 23rd, 2011. Once again, seasonality sectors pull back. Uh, worldwide events are headlines that can create people to sell, which is good. Because every long-term bull rally that we've had for two years, we've had a bull rally for two years. And so basically every correction that we get has created a buying opportunity. 
However, there are a lot of things going on around the world right now, and we'll be monitoring those events and why people make decisions. We do believe, though, that U.S. equities overall, when you take a look around the world, you take a look around the world in all the emerging markets. You take a look at Brazil, Argentina. You take a look at China. You take a look at Europe. You take a look at where the greatest strength was. Russia had a big move as well. So when you take a look at those areas contracting because either a growth has slowing down, it remains, in my view, that U.S. equities within its bull rallies that we've had on good pullback and good leadership remain in my view less riskier than emerging markets around the world. Those markets performed well but they're having their inflationary problems right now. So when we there's a lot of money on the sideline. A lot of money on the sideline there's a lot of hedge fund managers that have un underperformed in the first quarter of 2011. Most were trying to short the up move. Oh, my goodness. When they should have been long and, and outperforming. Nonetheless, they did not. So you've got a lot of money on the sideline. So that money that is on the sideline is that bull sentiment is going to come back. And I'm just giving a broader view that the big institutional money looks at this Dow Jones transportation. Okay? And we're finally getting pullbacks in here and some good names that we like. And if everything sets up as we anticipate that it will, meaning that oil comes down, the consumer's not being gouged, the commodity related food prices at historical all time highs, well, those have to come down. That would be a perfect, perfect setup for another bull rally when the correction is over. And in order to participate in bull rallies, you have to have the best of the breed in every one of these sectors. Because what will end up happening is that when you're diversified to the best of the breed going down the chain in indexes and indices, is that you're well diversified in your risk management trade if you're holding names overnight and someday a sector might be weak and someday other sectors are strong but they do balance the portfolio. So it's very important that part of this training outside of being a market maker is to understand how that big money can make a shift and there's a lot of money on the sidelines the leadership in the Dow Transport says are finally correcting from overbought levels as we said it would. Now we're going to look and go hunting for the best of the breed in this index, DJT. FedEx is good. There's a trucker in here we like, JB Hunt. We love the CSX. It's in here. Why do we like it? I'll tell you why. Because it's a leader and the earnings have done fairly decent over the last eight quarters. So once again, it's going to, we're going to go hunting so that when the correction does land a bottom, which we'll know is we're going to figure out which one here is the best of the breed. And we'll pick one out of here that is. The daily transport, you're selling down below it. Here's the month of May correction that we called. Every correction that we've had within the bull cycle of this five month period have been narrow range. June, at the end of this calendar month, this monthly bar will be final. But if it's not greater to the downside than the last up bar, it's just a narrow monthly contraction and a pullback. However, if we do start up the month of June and we start breaking harder, we'll be watching this daily chart each day. And once we hit some key areas in the shorter term right in here, the bottom of this bar is going to come into play right here. When we sell through it, more people are going to start selling names in the index. Remember, it's all the names in the index that create 
this chart across the board and they're all selling and because of they're all selling off that's why you get the greater uh, daily movement volatility to the downside